What's up? What's going on you guys? And welcome back. Welcome back to another video and to another Rugby Player Reacts to the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine video. Uh, it's a new day. We got up to Justin Herbert, the Oregon quarterback, who is six foot seven and 236 pounds. We're about to watch his full NFL scouting combine workout. We're doing that because before I go into the draft, we've got seven more videos. I want to watch the entire combine. I want to watch as much as I can. I want to get as much information about these players as I can before going and watching the draft <clears throat> and seeing where they place or seeing where they fall, um, rather. So with that said, the next video on the list is Justin Herbert. The only thing I watched originally was the 40 yard dashes and I know that it doesn't show you a lot. <laughs> it shows you 40 yards in a straight line and nothing else. So, so, so you know, it would have been a, a huge disservice to myself, to my viewers and um, to everyone involved if I didn't look at every one of the combine videos before looking at the draft. So that's what we're doing. Justin Herbert, the quarterback for Oregon. It is four minutes and 10 seconds long. I've got a fresh plunger coffee for the day. For you coffee drinkers out there, you might be feeling a little bit jealous right now because this is looking fan-fucking-tastic. And so is Justin Herbert's Oregon uniform, actually. And his haircut. Oh, yes, please. Ah, <sighs> Justin Herbert, the old Herbster. Eh? Starting off with a 40-yard dash. Which I've already seen, but it's okay. Okay, I've been working like three jobs. Probably why I never see ya. Probably why I never have time for the fake friends I won't be ya. Oh God, I've been running now. At the Senior Bowl, had some time there. And, uh, he was in town working out. Uh, very impressive to be around. Speaking of Senior Bowl, Justin Herbert. Yep. So a terrific. 471. I think Jerry Rice ran a 471. This guy could be a receiver. Rose Bowl with a 471. You know, there were probably a number of things. And, and shoot, I thought they played an exceptional defense at 19. Well, that's a, a great ally for a good quarterback play. Uh, but clearly, uh, he felt more and more comfortable with what they were doing. Actually, I've, I've seen some of these long balls, man. This guy has a 65-yard bomb that doesn't even look like he's trying. Um, who the question is arm strength. So if you're Jake Fromm, you're not underthrowing anything out here in this workout. He's a tricky evaluation because you love the size, you love the production he had, won a lot of games there at Oregon. I just want to see him cut it loose and be a little more... Wow, 2019 William V. Campbell Trophy winner. I've never heard of that. Nation's best football scholar athlete. Really? Are you the nation's smartest football player? More aggressive and enter into that attack mode Sometimes he plays a little bit too cautious. Type of physical ability that you have to have to be one of those upper echelon quarterbacks in the NFL and still questioning whether he's had, he has that or not. Nice catch. As, uh, but there's oh, a great example, <laughs> Rich, there, not to cut you off, but as, as DJ was talking about, a lot of times when you watch Herbert throw, it's almost like he's aiming. You know, we always say as a quarterback, you just got to get back and let it go. You got to trust yourself and let it go. But a lot of times it looks like he's aiming. You saw that on that first slant. You know, as we watch Justin Herbert come up here, you know, Kurt, Justin Herbert never took a snap under center in college. Look at this. Oh, and no. So this is all brand new for him as well as it is for a lot of these guys. When you talk about that, I know. He never took a snap under center. Does that mean there was always a long snap back to the quarterback, which I can't remember what that's called. Is it called eye formation? Eye formation? No, I'm not sure. What, what does that have to do with? How, how does that affect you? Well, a big part of that is the ability to get your weight going back mm. and get set on the top of the route. Because if you're talking about shotgun, there's not as much movement back there. You don't have to really get your body going. Shotgun. Okay, so under center is, is basically being handed the ball by the center. And then balance back up. So that's one of the things that you gotta pay attention to is how does he get balanced up and the timing of his feet on the back of his drop to be able to get that football out. What an NFL 100 season you saw leading to obviously this 
non-playing season beginning of this 2020 combine. Nice throw there by Herbert. Justin Herbert has been much more comfortable really pushing this ball down the field. Absolute bomb. You see him starting to let it go a little bit down there? Yeah, I mean, I think this is where he finds his groove, where he's not worried so much about the footwork and those types of things, and he can just kind of set. When I was watching the quarterbacks work out, he was the first one off the block, and his throws were the longest, were the highest, and with the throws that took the least effort. But in saying that, this guy is six foot over six foot six. I mean, his his leverages would be incredible. Let that ball go, but you're right, he's just flicking I'd love to know his arm span. There. Normally, we talk about 42 to 44 on these go routes. He's letting it go a little bit farther than that. So he's throwing it from the 10. He's landing at the 40. That's 50. But the guy was consistently catching it at the 35. So that's 55 yards. 55 yard bombs and he's meant to be going for 42 to 44 yards but he's just chucking a little bit extra on there. So these receivers would be thinking fuck I'm going to catch it around about the 50 yard line but with his throws they've got to be quite aware and look up early to make sure that they're um, they're running at the right cadence you could say to catch it on the fly. Alright let's to show off a little bit, but, uh, but with nice air and nice touch those guys can run underneath it. I've seen that before when he was beating Utah. <laughs> Great job. Jalen Hurts. An hour. Justin Herbert, 60. You know, you're gonna, we're gonna 60? Holy shit, I've, I just looked up in the previous video, what is the fastest throw ever recorded? And it was 60 miles per hour at the combine. Justin Herbert just, Justin Herbert just equaled the all-time record for velocity throwing the football at the NFL combine. Jordan Love work out in the next group and, and you've heard his name with Indianapolis. Well, if they go out and get Phil Rivers or Tom Brady, maybe that changes their plans for what they're going to do. You know, you're gonna, we're going to watch Jordan Love work out in the next group and, and you've heard his name with Indianapolis. Well, if they go out and get Phil Rivers or Tom Brady, maybe that changes their plans for what they're going to do. Where does Herbert go? What are the Dolphins going to do at five? Will they move up to three with Detroit? Well, you know, will another team be open for business? And is there anything to the Borough Bengals Yeah, scenario. that ain't so easy to throw. That ain't easy to throw one bit. The ball is deceptively big. You've heard his name, you know, mentioned probably. You know what I mean? You might be lucky to get one, maybe two. How about the egg bowl lane? Two fingers on the laces. How about that? Thanksgiving will never be the press conference for the egg bowl. There's Herbert again. Get that. That was what Kurt, we've been talking about a little bit, trying to guide that one. Just just let it go, man. Let it rip. That was better. That one's better. You're always looking for that turnover, too, right? We say on these deep balls, you want to take your shoulders and you want to throw it up in the air with the same follow through so it gets that turnover. Where is he throwing it? Cut. He's throwing it at the that 10. Okay. nice. Some of these are coming out too flat that struggling to get the turnover. 10 5 in the broad jump. Showed some athleticism today, Charles Davis, 36 years first. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous. He, he, that, that, that guy could 360 dunk, no doubt. No fucking doubt. But he's playing football instead. People might want to he's playing quarterback. He turned on tape and see it. This just confirmed what he is. Okay, right sweet. All right, so now we've got we've got four top prospects in my head as far as quarterbacks go. We've got Joe Bengal. We've got Joe Bengal. He's going to the Bengals, Joe, Joe Burrow, <laughs> Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, no, sorry, Joe Burrow, Tungavailoa, Jalen Hurts, and now Justin Herbert. Okay, that is, I think that's the end of our individual quarterback workouts. I'm quite excited about this next video because we have the best of the running back workouts at the 2020 NFL Scouting Combine. The first one on the list, his name is DeAndre Swift. Now, forgive me, but it's been a couple of months since I watched the 40-yard dashes. I don't remember any names. I don't remember... Well, actually, I remember one name. One running back that ran a 4-4 flat, and he looked extremely impressive. But that would be the only one, and I still don't know his name. So with that being said, we're going in with a clean slate, and I like that. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe for more, please do. I'll be back here in five minutes after a few more sips, and we'll be looking at some running backs. So I'll see you then.